Obamacare is a job killer. Businesses across the country have been asked what the impact is of Obamacare. Three quarters of those surveyed by the Chamber of Commerce said Obamacare makes it less likely for them to hire. All right, to a fellow who agrees with Governor Romney, Bernie Marcus, the co-founder of Home Depot, you had said for quite some time, uh, uh, Bernie, that this this is something that's going to be an anathema to business, certainly an anathema to creating jobs, and for bosses of small, medium, and large companies alike, just a pain in the butt. Uh, you still feel that way? Oh, no question about it. I mean, um, and and frankly, uh, Neil, um, numbers don't lie. Politicians do. We found out, for instance, that a mandate is not a tax, and a tax is not a mandate. I mean, you know, but the truth is that we saw the numbers go down. The numbers are not good. They went up for unemployment. We know there are about 20 million people unemployed. We know there are people who uh, want to have better jobs that are qualified for them, are working as waiters and taking jobs beneath what their education thing is. And let me talk to you about business, because I think that I'm in a position to speak to you about it. What, what the business has seen since Obamacare was instituted and passed by the Congress, we've saw, and I'm going to speak for business people, they've seen their taxes go up, their, not their taxes, but their insurance bills go up 10, 20, 30, and in some cases, 40 percent. So everybody is paying the bill now. Now that's a hidden tax because what happens is very simply those that tax has to be passed along to the consumer somewhere so somewhere along the line everybody in america whether you're rich whether one percent or unemployed everybody is paying for it somewhere or another and from the businessman standpoint i had lunch with a group of business people today and when i got back i spoke to other business people and they all said the same thing look we're not going to do anything. We're not moving. We're not going to hire any more people. We're not just, interested just in because no of this? one is creating just because of this yeah, because nobody, of the taxes we're showing no. that roll in or what? Well, it's because of the total uncertainty of what's happening in Washington. Uh, they know it's going to be more expensive. They know Obamacare is going to cost a ton of money. Who's going to pay for it, Neil? Somebody's going to have to pay for it eventually. You know, you could flip it around because um, I know guys like you when you were running things, and even now, of course, you're very influential in the corporate world, you like a sense of assurance or something that you know is coming down the pike. This was a big old question mark. I guess for the time being, Bernie, less of a question mark. You know, Wall Street likes certainty. This is one thing for now. There's certain that unless a new Congress comes in and repudiates this, it is the law of the land. It's going to stand as the law of the land. So they can move past this. They'd like to see the tax rate thing resolve one way or the other. But what do you make of that? That at least th there's no doubt now. Yeah, I would I would say that most business people are going on the basis that nothing is going to happen. That in fact Obamacare is going to be in. Look, if Romney is elected, he's got to have a Democratic House and he's got to have a Democratic Senate, a, a Republican House and a Republican Senate. If he doesn't have the Senate and the House. Uh, it's not going to be refuted. It's not going to be. It's not going to go away. It's going to be there. So if I'm a businessman, I'm going on a basis that my costs are going up, and I have to now plan for higher costs in the future. Now I also have to plan for the fact that Obama may be reelected. If he's reelected, I By have the way, to now plan that taxes more... are going to go up. I'm sorry, I keep doing this for any yeah, people. Yell no, at me. Ahead, Viewers yell at me when I do this. But uh, do, do you think this is strengthen that possibility today? No, I, I think that people, look, I think that people are going to get very angry today. Uh, I think that there are a lot of passive people. You know, we've been out with this Job Creators Alliance that I've talked to you about in the past, jobcreativesalliance.org, by the way, where we're trying to get business people who are so busy working that they haven't gotten involved in the political process. And we're saying to people, You've got to, you, better, you better take your head out of the books. I know you're working hard, but you better start looking for your future and get involved with it. This election is a very important election. Uh, this election is the difference between from the free enterprise system surviving or not surviving. It's very simple. Uh, you have a, a group of people in Washington who believe in socialism, and you have the free enterprise system, the thing that created the Home Depot and many other companies, you know, all the successful companies that you know out there. That's coming to an end. It's coming to an end because socialism is coming down the pike. 
big government controlling everything. We see it with the too the, 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 the too, too big to fail. We see it with uh, with what happened with Dodd Frank with controls of the financial institutions. And eventually, it's going to take control of everything else. So I think this election is a very, very important election. And if Obama stays in power, uh, I'm just happy I'm not in business anymore. Uh, and I'm, I'm just happy and I'm, I'm in a philanthropic world. Okay. So I'll put you down as a maybe on the president. Uh, Bernie Marcus in Atlanta. Thank you, sir. Always good seeing you.